Are you teaching your kids to be poor, rich or wealthy? So, if we believe, for example, that money is the root of all evil, or we don't want to have too much money because we all have to share it, these points of view will be picked up and adopted by our children. Beliefs like this will surely limit the amount of money you and your children can have, but also your feelings about the amount of money you have. This is the place where you expect the worst, where you're unwilling to receive from anything, the sunshine, the forest, the kindness of a stranger. It's a place where you have money, where you can have a lifestyle where you aren't just surviving. However, rich people often have some of the same limiting beliefs and lack of ease around money as poor people. When we're wealthy, we're willing to have money, not just spend it. It's not just about money, it's about receiving all the good things in life, including money. You function with a generosity of spirit, where you know and trust that the world is an abundant place, and you'll be looked after. When you are willing to receive more, you'll find that people seem to want to give to you, and so you receive even more. The universe will put people and things in your path to help you create what you're asking for. Kids will pick up your points of view about money, wealth, and receiving. So, to become aware of where you're functioning from with money requires becoming truly present with your thoughts and your choices with money. To help you to see what may be going on for you, let me give you some common examples of limitations people have around money. I don't want too much money, I'll have to share it. Just starting to become aware of all of this is the beginning of changing it and being willing to have more money and more of all of the good things in life. One of the aspects of wealth is being willing to have money. Teach your kids, from when they start to have money of their own, to put away 10% of all the money that comes in. As they get older, you can also teach them ways of using this money to create even more money. Also show your kids that they can create money for themselves. Teach them to be willing to do anything that will create the money to get what they would like to have in their lives. Teach your kids how to spend with generosity of spirit, to give to other people, and to enjoy the gifting. Also share with them the difference between receiving and taking. When someone truly receives a gift, there is a gratitude in their world that is a function of being wealthy. When someone is gifted something, and they're not truly able to receive it, they take it. Teach your kids that this is not personal and not to do with the person gifting but with the other person's ability to receive. And you can show your kids gratitude for money. Having money is also an honoring of you. Show your kids that when you're willing to honor you, you'll have the money for more expansive choices, a long haul first class ticket or a beautiful, soft cashmere sweater that allows your body to feel nurtured and cared for. Similarly, being wealthy allows you to create a future. In the end, these keys to being wealthy are also keys to having more of you. This is the space where you can drop your barriers and have what you truly desire your life to be, without the stress of money. And isn't that what we as parents truly desire for our kids?